Greetings, I'm Professor K, and if you're watching this video, you're probably enrolled inside of a SEC 4303, Security Policy and Analysis. Welcome. Now, there's two different flavors to this course. You have the term version, which is the full eight weeks, and then you have the life pace course, which is 10 weeks. So, if you're taking the term course, you have discussions. If you're taking the life pace course, there are no discussions. In lieu of discussions, you have journals to complete. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the course syllabus and let's see what's expected of students who enroll inside of security policy and analysis. Well, first off, this is a very busy course. It's a lot of writing and there's gonna be a lot of information being pushed out to the students each week up inside of each one of these units. Now, that doesn't mean that everything that you need to complete your course assignments will be provided for you in the course. Students are expected to use outside resources to complete their assignments, and that includes their writing assignments. And if you're inside of a term course, that includes the discussions. So you need to use the school library, the internet, YouTube, whatever you can find and use as a valid resource to help support your completion of the assignment well, that's what you got to do all right so the course syllabus loading up here we're going to go over this real quick and by the way this should be your go-to document for any questions that you have about how your assignments are graded you have any questions about when your assignments are due if you have any questions about what is to be part of that assignment, refer to the course syllabus. Let's take a look at it. You got your course introduction. Make sure you understand this. There is your book for the course. The learning outcomes are spelt out for you up inside of the course syllabus, as is the grading. The grading is broken down for you. You have discussions if you're inside of a term course. If not, you will have journal articles that you have to complete each week. Now, if you don't want to use the access provided for you for each unit, you can go through here and you can click inside of the course syllabus and you can get access to everything that you need to be able to complete your assignment each week. Now, for instance, the Unit 1 Study Guide, you can get it through the course syllabus or you can go up here clicking on the Unit 1 underneath the menu on the left side of your course and you'll get access to exactly the same material. Now you also see that you get access to the discussion board and there is a grading rubric. Very important that you understand what a grading rubric is and what it is used for. It is what the instructor will use to grade your assignments. Nothing more, nothing less. There's no subjectivity. You either complete the assignment as stated in the grading rubric or you don't. That's all there is to it. I will not embellish the grade nor will I deduct from the grade if it's not covered in the grading rubric. Very important. In Unit 1, you have an assessment. Some, some of these units, you will have assessments. That's just an online exam. You must complete that online exam. And when you're done, you have to submit it. Then it will be graded by your instructor. You also see that you have additional resources down here to include the CSU library student learning resources, and communication forums. Now, communications forums include the ASTA professor. So, if you have a problem with an assignment being submitted, let's say, to the wrong gradebook or the wrong assignment was uploaded, you can, ask, you can use the ASTA professor forum. Send me a message, and I will reset that attempt for you. All right, very important. If you need to get a hold of me, you can get a hold of me through the Ask the Professor forum where you'll see my contact information, which means that you can post a message inside of the Ask the Professor forum, or you can call me, or you can email me. 
All that information is provided for you there. All right. So once you go inside of one of the courses or one of the units, you can subscribe. If you want to subscribe to a particular form, you can. But once you leave the course, that is to say you've completed the course, unless you unsubscribe, you will, you will continue to receive information that's being posted to that thread, such as Ask the Professor. So that's all I got for you. And so it, I want to welcome you one more time to the course. And if you have any questions or you have any concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out and contact your instructor. And I'll see everyone up inside of either the discussions or up inside of the units. Have a great day. Bye.